What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys over at Iliama, we're taking a look at this monstrous 40 inch monitor. But first of all, as always, let's roll on that intro. So as I said, we are taking a look at a 40 inch monitor from Iliama. This particular one here is the X4071UHSU. But basically, this is a 4K 60F, 60 hertz monitor, and it is 40 inches across. And I've got to admit, before we even get into it, you'll have noticed that this has actually been in my background wall mounted for quite a while now, and I've actually really liked it. So, everybody is going on, like, 4K 60, it's not enough. Whoops. Um, I must admit, I was thinking the same at the start. 60 FPS, 60 Hertz, it's not really enough. But then, having been used to it and using it and playing it, you do get used to it. So, what is this? Now, primarily, I must admit, this is not a gaming monitor. This is one of Iliama's ProLite series, and their main aim is actually professional users, whether that be uh, content creators, offices. I mean, this is the sort of thing that you might see maybe wall-mounted uh, in a CEO's head office behind him and things like that. It's it's quite the beast. Now, one thing I will say, pricing, £500. That's not bad. So specs of this monitor we will just pull them up because the list is way too long for me to remember do 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 so as i said this is a 4k screen it does have a 60 hertz refresh rate standard 16 by 9 rags per aspect ratio brightness rating according to iliama is 350 nits i did actually do testing and found that to be very accurate i've got a color spectrometer that sits on here and measures everything again Color accuracy on it was great. It is a VA panel. It's got a contrast ratio of 5,000 to 1, which isn't great. This isn't a HDR monitor or anything like that, but it was more than adequate. I mean, it's a nice, bright screen. It's got a 3 millisecond response time, so not the fastest, but not bad. Not bad at all. It is a VA panel at the end of the day. So, like I said, this isn't a dedicated gaming monitor, it is more about colour accuracy and professional use. But I've actually been using it for gaming because I saw it and I liked it. So, physical features of the screen. Uh, now, you'll notice these stands. It's my one thing I wasn't too keen about. It's very much like your TVs. These two sort of brackets sitting here on the bottom and it did mean that you can't get the monitor back up against the wall. Now, my studio, I've obviously got a desk up against the wall and I couldn't get the monitor back far enough and you've got a good sort of six inches between the monitor and the wall. Now, I actually have this wall mounted and I do find personally that is the best option, but it does have legs and they even do actually have a little bit of down and up adjustment. Not a massive amount, I think it's sort of like seven degrees back, and something like four degrees forwards. Only a little bit, but when it's a screen this big, that does equate to quite a, quite a jump in adjustment. Uh, when I had it actually sitting at desk level, I did find having it tilted down towards me was beneficial. Let's put up a few more tech specs. Now, the, one of the, the things that they do include in the box, we'll go through what's included in the box quickly. You actually do get a remote, as per sort of like a TV, powered by a couple of batteries. And actually, this basically covers everything that these buttons underneath would normally cover, including your power, the ability to open the on-screen display and adjust it all, eco modes, uh, color settings, things like that, inputs, choosing different inputs the audio on it, volume up and down, brightness up and down, all actually usable via the remote. So if you've got this wall mounted where getting to the buttons isn't easy, don't worry, it comes with a remote. And actually I do find myself using this pretty much all the time instead of using the on-screen buttons because that's so much easier to use. Now, the buttons are actually usable though, there's no major problems. They're nice and easily defined along the bottom. I have found a few monitors recently where 
rather than having buttons, you had little bumps, which were, shall we say, irritating because there's, there was no click or anything to them. These do have a nice solid click. You can actually turn the LED light off in the on-screen. And using the on-screen display, you can actually set up a lot of different options uh, when it comes to actually displaying. Because Although this is a 4K screen, so it's effectively four 1080 monitors side by side, or in a grid, what you can actually do, you can do picture in picture, okay? Or you can actually, so that is by picture in picture, would be having, say, a second monitor displayed down here or up or wherever you can choose with the menus. You can also set it up as a grid with different screens in each one. Very handy if, uh, for example, maybe office work, uh, large offices, you've got multiple machines in front of you, you can have all four on one monitor and you've got four good sized monitors, they are not small, that's four 20 inch monitors that you would have at your disposal. So that was actually a feature I've used quite a bit when it's been testing benches, um, testing different systems because I've got my my game, my, my main rig and my test bench both wired into this permanently and sometimes I might want to be working on them literally both at the same time and rather than flicking through the inputs I just have them in different quadrants of the monitor and off we go. That works really well. Now included in the box as well as said little remote is obviously a power cable. You do get an included USB cable. We'll come to why on that later. You get a HDMI cable, a 3.5mm to 3.5mm audio cable, mini display ports to display ports, so the sort of things like laptops, MacBooks, things like that, these mini display port cables included, and display port cables as well. Iliama have always been really, really good when it comes to including all the cables that you need. So everything that you need to get yourself going is included and it is a very solid thing. So what we'll do, I'm actually going to bring in some B-roll now where we're going to go through the back of the monitor. So taking a look here at the back of this Iliama 40 inch monitor, we'll take a quick look at what the connections are that we've got. As you can see just by here, we do have our AC input with a AC switch. This is a standard sort of kettle lead, so there's no power supplies or anything external to this, all built in. And if we move along to the other side, as we can see, we have our inputs. Let's just focus you in on them. And zoom you in a little. So as you can see, we've got three HDMIs. HDMI 1 is the one that supports our 4K60. We've then got HDMI 2, which also supports MHL. That is for mobile phones, things like that, and then HDMI 3. Also got a display port, and weirdly enough, good old fashioned D-Sub VGA. There's also then a USB 3 type B input, so like the printer type cable for USB 3. That uh, is to give you the hub, which if we take a quick look around to the side. Down here on the side, we do have a pair of USB 3 type A connectors. Just above them we have an audio in and then we have a, 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 an earphones or a headphone output. Another thing to note, just here on the side, this little thing, if I can pull it out, is weirdly enough a handy little headphone stand. So that's about it really for the back of the monitor. As I said, we do have we do have our power input down by here. And then if we move along to the other side, we do have three HDMIs, a display port, a VGA and a USB input. And then we've got the pair of USB outputs. Well, I say outputs, they're not inputs again on the side as well as uh, audio in and headphones. So now the picture quality, as we mentioned, I've got on really well with it. It is nice, it is big, it is vibrant. The image quality is actually though really, really nice. It is big though. I must admit, I did a lot of playing around with it. I've done a lot of playing games with it. Is it a good gaming monitor? Yes and no. That depends entirely on the type of game that you're playing. It is such a big screen. Any game where your peripheral vision is filled with information, 
So World of Warcraft is one example that comes to the top of my mind where you have a lot of stuff around the outside of the screen. This isn't the sort of monitor for that because the outside of the screen is outside of your main field of vision. It is big. But uh, first person shooters, I did a lot of playing of the new Shadow of the Tomb Raider on this. Amazing. Because your peripheral vision in the game is peripheral vision as it is in real life. This screen effectively on a desk fills your entire vision. It is so immersive. I've had 34 inch ultra wides, I've got a 34 inch ultra wide. I'm used to 27s and 28s and things like that. When it comes to first person shooters, this just blows them all out of the water. Racing sims, everything. It is absolutely amazing when it comes to games that do not involve incredibly high frame rates. So it is not an eSports monitor. Come on, it's a 40 inch monitor. You're not gonna be playing competitive Fortnite or competitive CSGO or something like that on this. It is not suited for that, there is no point in me recommending it to you. But if you are into first person shooters, if you're into content creation, it's amazing when it comes to pulling up DaVinci Resolve because your timeline is huge and you've got so much space to fit everything on. And the other thing that really surprised me about this is the audio quality. Now, I've had a few Iliama monitors in recently, and I've had many monitors in the past with speakers built in, and I've always just written them off as rubbish. Now, because of the size of this, and it, it is quite chunky, it's a good couple of inches thick, and it weighs 12 and a half kilos, it is no featherweight, but because of the space and the size available to Iliama, they've actually been able to put a decent enough set of speakers in that when I'm sitting in my studio, just chilling, watching some YouTube videos, I don't actually bother with speakers or headphones because what's built in is actually usable. Not like the sort of quality where you're going to go wow, but it's also not the sort of sound quality that you get when you sit there, you go, I need to plug some headphones in or I need to plug some speakers in. It is usable. It is quite happily usable. So that's really it for the Iliama. Oh, I can't remember what it is. They have to have such long names. But yeah, the 40 inch 4K 60 Hertz monitor from Iliama. Yeah, it's not a great gaming monitor, but it is a really immersive one. So if you're playing immersive games, yeah, it is amazing for that. But if you're into content creation or content consumption, if you like to sit and watch movies on your computer or sit and browse YouTube for hours on end, as most of us probably do, it is great for that because it is just so big. I must admit, I love it. I do actually have this paired with the 28 inch on the side there and I will be sitting there chilling, watching a movie, Facebook on the side as you do. And it just works really well. You do not need obviously the second monitor, but it is an incredibly feature rich monitor. It's got everything that you would expect from a monitor at a 500 pound price point. Okay, it's not a 4K 100 hertz monitor, but a, a 28 inch 4K 120 hertz monitor, I think it is, is like two grand, which is 500 pound. Okay, it is more than a TV. You can buy yourself a TV of a similar size for about a hundred pound less, but it's a TV. This is a monitor, it has been set up with low input lag, which TVs do not have, regardless of game mode or anything like that, TVs don't have low input lag. It has been set up to offer a good range of colours because it is aimed a little bit at the pro market of editors and Photoshop people and things like that. At the end of the day, it's a monitor. It is a lot better than having a 40 inch TV. I've tried it, doesn't work for me because TVs are normally uh, glossy. Uh, got that nowadays especially they're a glossy coating this is a uh, more of a satin coating and it just works really well as a monitor much better than a tv for a little bit more money but one thing i would recommend if at all possible is to get it as far back from you as possible i have mine the full width of a desk it's about 45 centimeters back from me and personally I'd say that is the minimum. I have it wall mounted because I did find that the included feet were just a little bit too deep. It made the, instead of it being maybe three inches from the face to the wall, it made it a good sort of nine inches because these feet stick out quite a bit from the back. But they work, they are sturdy, my table wobble, they do have a little bit of adjustment. 
which if you pick up a TV you don't get either. But yeah, all in all, Iliama 40 inch 4K60, do I recommend it? As I've already said, take your use into consideration. Remember, you may think having a 40 inch monitor is going to be epic for playing CSGO or Fortnite on. It won't, but if you're going to be content creating or video editing or Photoshop or FPS games or Sims, works really well. And on that note guys, that is it for today. Any questions or anything, put your comments in down below, I always do my best to answer. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down no problems and as always i will be back again next week so if you want to see me click that subscribe button and i'll see you all again next week